A copyright holder can choose to sell different amounts and types of economic rights to a work. What economic rights are sold and what economic rights remain the property of the copyright holder is defined by the agreement made between the buyer and the seller. If there is a dispute, the burden of proof lies with the buyer of copyright to prove that he has purchased a right from the author. The right holder can sell ownership of copyright. However, after you have sold ownership, you can no longer use it yourself or sell it to third parties. An author can agree on how and when his name is mentioned and what specific changes can be made to the work. But it is not possible to remove moral rights, the right of paternity and integrity, from the author. Instead of selling the ownership to copyright, one can grant a license, which is a right to use the work. The one granting the right is the licensor, and the buyer is the licensee. If an author grants a non-exclusive license, he can continue to sell these non-exclusive licenses to new customers. However, when an author sells an exclusive license, he can no longer use it himself or sell that right to others. When granting a sole right license, the author can continue his own use but cannot sell rights to third parties. Licenses can also be limited in terms of geography, time or number of copies allowed by the licensor. Terms of payment is often a key element in copyright agreements. It can be agreed that rights are transferred only after a copyright seller receives the agreed payment. A right to audit the basis of a royalty payment can be agreed. The right to further transfer rights to a third party and the right to change a work have to be agreed specifically. Also, non-commercial uses often require a license from a copyright holder. See Creative Commons licenses for different options.